Hey besties, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Yan, and today I have a massive book haul to share with you all. And this is actually the second book haul that I filmed on this channel. So if you guys haven't watched the first one, go ahead and check that one out first. But if you guys are interested in this video, then please keep on watching. On the previous book haul, I had like a third of what I have today to share with you all. And all of these books I bought towards the end of April and then May and June. I mentioned in that video that if a Target were to have a sale, I would buy some more books. And literally, I think the day I posted that, Target had the sale. So that's when I started buying all of these books. And I know I have a huge problem, but I'm so excited to share some of the books that I've already read and just all the new books that I picked up to add to my collection. I also wanted to mention that I usually wait for sales to buy my books. And if I can't buy them at Target, then I will try to buy on Amazon. The first book that I purchased, this one is a recent buy. It's called once More with Feeling by Alisa Sussman. I think this is a standalone, but I know that she also wrote Funny You Should Ask, and I did like that one, so I hope I like this one. I just thought the cover was beautiful, and I don't know much about these books because usually I don't read the back until I'm about to start reading the book, or I just go into the book blind. But this one, I also think one of them is a pop star, and I just love the cover, so it gets me every time. Next up is one of my highly anticipated reads of the year. It is Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. This one is also a STEM kind of story and I don't really know too much about it. I've been hearing a lot of great things about this book. I just love this cover. I love the two people on the front. It's so pretty but it is a little bit thick so I'm pretty surprised and I'm probably going to read this soon. Then I have Daisy Jones and The Six. I feel like like everyone has heard of this this is by Taylor Jenkins Reid I am trying to collect all of her books and read them also this one there's a TV show I think on Hulu or something but I really want to watch it and I have to read this book first so that I can compare the two so I might do a video I'm so excited because so many people talk about it this takes place in the late 60s so I haven't read a lot of books that have taken place like back in the days and stuff and I don't know how I feel about the music and all of that but it sounds super interesting and so many people rave about it so you know I'm just going to be learning more even though this is like a fictional story so I think it's pretty cool I don't really like the covers of these books but I would prefer this one over the show cover so I don't really like it when they have like movie covers or anything like that for books then I picked up when in Rome by Sarah Adams just because so many people were talking about this book and I actually have read this one already I thought this was a cute small town romance this one I think Amelia is a pop star and Noah lives in like a small town and she basically wants to get away and go to Rome and she ends up in Rome Kentucky he owns a cute little pie shop and at first she's like skeptical of him so it's cute to read and it's really thin so I think I think this is like a perfect summer book fast read then I had to pick up the second book this is practice makes perfect by Sarah Adams I think you can read them separately but I feel like you should read when in Rome first just because there are some references this one the cover is like one of the prettiest covers of the year for me and I just love everything about this one I'm actually halfway through this book this one is about Annie and Will Annie is Noah's sister in the previous book and Will is Amelia's bodyguard so this one also is a small town has fake dating and I love books with fake dating so so far I'm loving this book it's so easy to read so fun as well and so far this is super cute I also forgot to mention that I got these beautiful bookmarks on Amazon and these are gorgeous they're exactly what I wanted you get four I have like the yellow or white one but it's currently in a book that I have yeah it comes with the pink purple and red I just thought that I should share this with you guys because I love getting cute bookmarks I thought it would be perfect to mention in this video then I picked up it happened one summer 
by Tessa Bailey and this is the first book by Tessa Bailey that I own and I didn't think I would want to pick this book up but I see so many TikTok references from this book so I just had FOMO and I really wanted to pick this up even though I don't need to add another summer book into my TBR I just thought that you know what why not give it a try because I just feel like this is one of the popular summer books so I probably will try to get to it by the end of the summer but I'm not too sure this one is about Piper and I also think this one she is famous and she goes to like a small town I do like the one of them is famous kind of trope so interested to see what this book is all about next up I'm so excited to share these next few books with you because there are books by Emily Henry and this one is people we meet on vacation I actually just read book love I loved her writing. I thought that book was so cute and I actually gave it a 5 out of 5. I had to read more books by her. I don't really know what this book is about but I am excited to take this on vacation with me. Then I have Beach Read by Emily Henry as well. This one I didn't really care to pick up but so many people talk about this one. I feel like this is probably the most popular book by her so I had to pick this up. This book I think they're both writers and they are going to be living in beach houses next to each other and they're going to write something i don't know but it seems very interesting and i don't know if this is like an enemies to lovers or what but i am kind of intrigued now just because i read book lovers and i loved that book so much so i hope this one will be better i just love her covers last book by emily henry that i purchased was happy place because this is probably one of the most popular books for the summer and i am actually surprised that i am a fan of the hard cover because i love love the pink. I probably would like this book more if it was in the paperback version but I don't know if it would have matched the other books but I just thought that this is beautiful and I am very excited. The words look pretty big. I think this one is going to be fun to read at the beach. I hope that it's not too sad. I see some people crying and honestly it will be kind of embarrassing crying at the beach or something so I'm not sure but it just looks so cute and I definitely have to get to this one soon. Then I also have another hardcover book and this is Carrie Soto is back by Tay JR. So I hear a lot of things about this one as well and I actually like this cover as well. Initially I wasn't a fan of the girl on the front but I do like this like gold yellow hardcover. This one is about a tennis player. I think she's trying to come out of retirement. I did play tennis back in middle school so it's been a while but I loved tennis. I am excited to read this one. I think it'll be a fun summer read as well. So many people love this book and you know whenever someone hypes up a book I have to go out and read it. I've only read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and that one was a five star read for me so I'm hoping majority of her books are five star reads for me. Then we're moving on to series. The first book that I have here is the only book that I have right now. So this is Pucking Around and I actually finished this one recently. So this one is a sports romance but it's also a why choose. I would definitely recommend you guys to check out the content warnings and all of the trigger warnings before you go into this one. I know that this one there's a prequel and a novella after. It is like 700 pages so I don't know if I would recommend. This one is actually also on Kindle Unlimited if you guys want to read it but yeah it is so thick and this is the first book so I know that there's a second one coming soon. I don't think I'm going to pick up the second one. This one is very spicy if you guys are into that. Then I have three books from the Addicted series. There are so many books in the series so that's why I've been so hesitant to start but so many people talk about the series so I think I might start soon probably in the fall or something. This is the first book. It's called Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie and the second book is called Ricochet. I love all of these covers. They're so pretty and then the third book is called Addicted for Now and the other books I'm going to wait for the Bloom covers because I think they're like redoing the covers or something. I only know that the first one, one of them is Addicted to Sex and the other is Addicted to Alcohol and I think they might fake date and 
end up falling for each other. I'm not too sure. I'm a little nervous because there are so many books. I don't know if I'm going to regret starting the series. Then I have the entire Chestnut Spring series here and I actually just got Reckless in yesterday. This was the last one and I have all of these beautiful special edition covers. I know that she's actually going to stop releasing this cover so that's why I had to pick up Reckless like ASAP. So I picked up Flawless, the first book, and this one is about Red. And I actually read like 50 pages of this book, but I started reading other ones. So I am very excited to read this one maybe in like August or something. I want to be in my cowgirl era like everyone else. So I hope I'm not too late. The second book is called Heartless and I think this is a single dad trope. I'm not too sure. And then the third one is Powerless. This one is so cute as well. And the last book is Reckless. And I have no idea who this book is about. My book girlies are so into the series. So I hope I love the series as well. This is a series that I want to complete by the end of the summer. So the next series that I picked up, I actually purchased this one right after my previous book haul and I am obsessed with sports romance books so I want to read all of them. I've heard that the off-campus series is a sports romance so you know I had to pick this series up and I got all of these books so I'm very excited. I don't like the covers and initially I was just going to buy them on KU but then I was like I do want these books to have physically on my shelf so I didn't read any of them yet and I know I need to read like the first book before I buy the entire series but I just had to especially when they have these sales they get me and the first book is called The Deal I don't know if this is like the right order but the next book I have is called The Mistake and this is by L. Kennedy the third is called The Score and then The Goal and last book, I think, The Legacy. I can't wait to read them. I heard that this first one is really good, so I need to read this one soon. But I think these books would be perfect for like around August or something or when school is about to start. I don't know why, but I did have this one on my summer TBR list, so maybe I should start this one soon. But I love all of them, and I'm so excited to read them. So let me know your favorite series down below, and... Maybe you can convince me to start some of these books. And then I have a series here that is probably the most popular series on all of booktube and that is the Akatar series. So I actually have three right here to share. I got the first one recently on a book shopping spree so I will link the video up above if you guys haven't watched that one but you should because it's so fun. There are more books over there that I didn't mention in this video. I purchased the other books that I could at Target and it was so hard to get this one. Um, this one was selling out so I was glad that I got it but I'm missing A Court of Mist and Fury. That's the second one and I didn't see that book at Target so I'm probably going to ask for that book for my birthday but I forgot the order already. I think this one is the third one and it is so pretty. This one is called A Court of Wings and Ruin and then the fourth one I think is Frost and Starlight. This one is like a short novella I believe and then the last one is A Court of Silver Flames. This book is massive so I'm so nervous to start because I have not read a single fantasy book yet and I started buying all of these books because I'm trying to convince myself that I will become a romanticy girly and I'm going to get into my fantasy girl era so I have to prepare. I just feel like these fantasy books are perfect for the fall time. This is probably going to be one of the first fantasy series that I do read just to start off and a lot of people say that these books are easy to get into. Everyone has probably read the entire series already and here I am about to start. The last book that I have here is fourth wing and I'm so excited that I got my hands on this book it's been so hard I did do a vlog sharing me going to get this book so if you guys want to watch that one but yes this one doesn't have the spray edges so I'm a little bummed but it's okay because this book is sold out everywhere and I hope that everyone can get this soon I think this might be my first fantasy read I'm not sure yet but I have FOMO and I want to know what everyone is talking about so I can't wait to get into this one and I know that the 
second book is going to come out soon so I have to get into this one I've been trying to not watch book reviews of this book so I can just go into it so I will let you guys know what I think so these were all of the books that I purchased since the last book haul and I went a little crazy as you guys can tell but all of these books are like amazing books that I've heard so I can't wait to complete all of them hopefully by the end of the year but we definitely have to do a check-in later so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had so much fun sharing and I've been waiting and collecting these books to share with you so let me know the books that you think I should read next and I will see you in the next video. Bye!